that's me again. <clears throat> this might end up being a really stupid idea, but um, I decided the video I shot earlier today, which I am putting online, because it had a couple good points in it. Um, it didn't really prove anything, though. I mean, I'm you guys' instructor, basically. I mean, that's why you you all watch my videos. I show you little things you may not have thought about, and uh, you guys give me good feedback on things I didn't think about. So we're kind of like a school out here, you know? Students. We're actually all students. Actually, we're all instructors, you know? We all help each other out. But, uh, I decided instead of hiding at home like a little girl, um, I checked the weather. No tornado warnings or anything like that. Just thunderstorms. You know what? I'm going to go back in the woods. And, uh, I'm going to finish what I started. <coughs> We're not going to do any friction fires or anything like that. But, um, I'm going to go back to that shelter I found. And I'm going to hide out there during the storm. And, uh, let you guys know what happened. Could be pretty interesting, you know? So, stay tuned. I ain't going home this time, alright? I ain't wimping out and going home. No matter how bad it gets, I'm staying out here underneath my shelter. Because who knows, someday we might all have to be doing that. <clears throat> we might not all have the same luxuries we have today. So, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Nature's free snack. The raspberry. Um, there's a whole bunch of them right here. I don't have a lot of time to stock up on them because uh, cause the storm's coming in. So I'm just going to eat a couple while I'm here. Try to get back to my shelter. Oh, that's delicious. Fresh blackberries. Can't beat it. If I had time, I'd stock up on them. Fill up a little baggie. I always keep baggies in my bug out bag because they're so useful. Um, the Ziploc ones, you can transfer water in them. Food. Whatever you need, put it in the baggie. Uh, got a good handful of baggies in my bag. So, uh, could have stocked up, but I'm racing the clock here trying to get to my shelter using landmarks. Something was right there. Fox or something. Um, my first landmark is this lake. Always use your landmarks. So here, here I am at the lake, um, this muddy ground right here, hard to walk through. I got to go around the lake and to the left, and uh, that's where that tree was. So uh, just keep landmarks in mind and you'll always find your way. This lake is full of frogs. Um, see them jumping over there? I don't know if you can see them. Could come back here later and get some frog legs cook them up at my fire, have a good dinner. But uh, for now I'm just going to get that shelter going. So we'll worry about food later. Alright, made it back to my campsite. My chair, I'm going to end up dragging that under my log. I'm going to get this fire pit cleaned up so I can get a fire going back here in case it don't rain. And uh, I'm going to use my billy can to start a smudge fire underneath here to keep the mosquitoes away. So uh, I'll get back to you in a couple minutes. Whenever you're uh, pulling weeds in the forest, <clears throat> always pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure you're not touching poison ivy and poison oak. Um, there's also poison nettle, but that's really distinguishable. Um, what poison ivy is, is a plant uh, it's kind of like a vine. It grows near vines usually. Um, pay attention to that three leaf rule. I can't really explain it. You're going to have to look it up if you don't know what it looks like. But uh, you need to know what it looks like. And uh, you also have to pay attention for poison oak. Now what poison oak is, I don't know if I'm going to find it anywhere around here, but uh, it's a vine that grows up a tree and it's really fuzzy and hairy looking. I've actually gotten poison oak on both my arms before when I was younger from climbing a tree and it, your arms just blister up and it's really painful and uh, poison oak is not something to mess with. If you find it near your campsite, just chop it, 
Uh, don't peel it off the tree. Don't burn it because you can actually get poison oak in your lungs from the oils. That uh, when it burns, the oils will go up in the air and the smoke, and you'll breathe it in, and you can actually get it in your lungs, and that would be really painful. Probably out here, you could end up dying from it, getting pneumonia or something. But uh, just always be aware of your surroundings when you're pulling up weeds and stuff like that. And uh, just be cautious out here, guys, because one one wrong move could be your uh, your demise, you know. So just pay attention. Okay. Now what we need to work on is uh, is our smudge fire. Um, I'm gonna make it inside this can and uh, put it right under here. What a smudge fire is is um, it's a really smoky fire, thick smoke, uh, clings low to the ground, and uh, you want to use a lot of green vegetation to start your smudge fire. And uh, it, the smoke keeps all the mosquitoes and bugs away. So before you do anything else, start a smudge fire because these mosquitoes are eating me alive out here. What is this? Alright, it's just full of surprises out here. Now we got a real grill. This camp's pretty nice. Might have to come here in my next video I make. But um, just stay close to your shelter in case it starts getting bad. And uh, start getting ready. I'm going to start picking green green leaves watching out for poison ivy and things like that and uh, just start burning them to make a lot of smoke to get the bugs away all right I got my can full of some green grass and some uh, some dead sticks to keep the fire going a little bit uh, I got fire paste I got some matches and I got a fire steel and uh, in my pocket I got a lighter so what I think I'm gonna do with this is just put some fire paste in there just to get it going real good real quick because I'm getting eaten alive out here and I'm just going to start it with a match. I'm not going to waste time with the fire steel right now. I got matches. Might as well use them. All right, I got a good fire going here, which isn't really a smudge fire. You want a lot of smoke. But, uh... There's no oxygen that can really get in this can from underneath. So, um... It should just smolder once I get it going. And uh, you just get it going and you keep throwing green leaves on it. Stuff that's going to make a lot of smoke when it burns. I'm already making a good amount of smoke out here, but you want a lot more than this. Just be careful when you're doing this. Like if you're near, um, I don't know, if you're actually bugging out and you're trying to stay, uh, stay unnoticed, uh, you don't really want to make a big smudge fire like this. You might just have to deal with the mosquitoes. Um, the good thing about mosquitoes is if you stay still, they don't they don't really travel really far. So um, if you're in one place, you'll kind of get eaten alive for a couple minutes, and then the ones in your immediate area will be full, and they'll go home to their nests, and uh, they won't mosquitoes won't really bother you anymore. So uh, just stay still, and you'll get left alone after a while. But I'm just trying to make a smudge fire out here real quick. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. Yo, yo, we live in this till the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. Still, we live in this till the day that we die.